Jonathan Ball, who's a professor of virology at the University of Nottingham, and he joins us now from Nottingham in the UK. Thanks so much for speaking to us on TRT World. Um, we've just heard about uh, how Hong Kong is coping with the situation, the emergency situation there uh, with regards to coronavirus. But tell us your reaction. What do you make of the prediction from Chinese authorities that there are more than 44,000 people around the world that may have the coronavirus and don't know it? Um, yes, it, it does seem quite shocking when you think uh, this time last week we were thinking or many people were thinking that this was going to be a bit like the SARS corona outbreak in 2002. Whilst that was uh, spread around the world, it was um, quite easy to contain that virus. We saw 8,000 cases, 800 dead. But of course, we're now way in, in excess of those numbers for the current outbreak. And unfortunately, there are a few disturbing things, information coming out of uh, China about the way that the virus is behaving that uh, suggests that it's going to be incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to control the outbreak. Like what? What, what is the most disturbing um, things that you're hearing? Or worry you? So I think the, 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 the key thing is with uh, SARS coronavirus, Individuals who could shed the virus, who could transmit the virus to other people, they showed symptoms. They had at least a fever, and many of them were seriously ill. And it's very easy to identify those people, to isolate them, and to stop them spreading their virus, and then also monitor their contacts. Uh, but with the current outbreak, there are reports that there is the potential for people without symptoms to be incubating and shedding the virus. Also, there's uh, reports that the incubation period for the virus before symptoms showing people could be very lengthy, maybe up to 14 days. And during that period as well, people might be shedding the virus. So in other words, there's a lot of silent infection in China that isn't being observed, but that virus is potentially transmitting. Now, we do need more hard facts to work out exactly how big that risk is and how real that risk is. But certainly the numbers that you've just mentioned fit with that kind of behaviour. All right. And given this, um, which you've called disturbing uh, information, why has the WHO not called, not declared this a global health emergency? Well, I think uh, this time last week, um, it may well have been, and I can't speak for the WHO, I can only surmise what was uh, being considered in that meeting that went over for two days. But I can only assume that they were reassured that the Chinese were on top of the problem, they had the capacity, they had the resources and the infrastructure to deal with it. Uh, I would be very surprised if this week the WHO doesn't declare a public health emergency of international concern. So things have changed a lot from last week. What would your advice be to, to our viewers all around the world? It's very difficult at the moment. Thankfully, the infections that have gone to other parts of the world don't seem to be developing into severe uh, disease. Um, and so one of the problems with the virus is that it does seem not always to cause symptoms. But of course, if you're one of those people who, who gets the virus and doesn't develop symptoms, then that's good news. Um, but of course, the other thing as well is that most of those infections can still be traced back to uh, Wuhan or the province that Wuhan is, is located in. And therefore, I would urge all of the people who's, who visited that city or that uh, province to ensure that they're aware of the fact that they might have picked up the virus unknowingly. And certainly they should be monitoring themselves for 14 days to see if they develop symptoms and then seek appropriate help. But of course, if they're one of the people who might have the asymptomatic um, infection, it's very difficult for them to know whether or not they're infected. Jonathan Bourne, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time and uh, all your comments. Thank you.